It's one of those unlikely friendships. The pastor. The biggest thing that I want people to know is that they're loved by God. And, well. Stripper. <laughs> I'm a stripper here. Don McCall. She goes by blue, dances at Casa Diablo, a.k.a. the vegan strip club in northwest Portland. I'm pretty militantly atheist. But recently, a Facebook post about a church caught her eye. It featured Clackamas United Church of Christ and one of Pastor Adam Erickson's thought-provoking reader board signs. Transgender folks have heartbeats too. Blue loved it. I just kind of reached out to him every once in a while and said, keep going, you know, what you're doing is important. Even though it's not my stuff, it's your weird, you know. The unlikely friendship was born. A couple Fridays ago, uh, we were messaging back and forth and she said that her heart was breaking for these kids in Mississippi. Federal immigration officials had just arrested 680 undocumented workers in Morton, Mississippi, separating kids from their parents. These are human beings. Uh, in my tradition, we would call them people created in the image of God. It's, it's just too much. It, it's, um, this is colossally awful. Blue ended up saying that uh, she and her girls wanted to do a fundraiser. We hustle for those that can't hustle for themselves right now, and that's what we do at Team Blue. And I said, how can my church help you with this fundraiser. And I said, oh, I don't know, what can you do to help? And I had to really think about how we could work together. Blue remembered her friend, Lauren Seeley, a New York artist who painted this image of a little girl crying in a garden with the hashtag, our kids. The three of us are teaming up. Seeley, Blue, and Pastor Adam decided to sell note cards for a dollar and t-shirts for $35 through Seeley's Etsy page. Proceeds will go to help Mississippi immigrant children and families from one marginalized group. Just a bunch of strippers that raise money for charity. To another. They say that God can work through anyone and strippers, even some Christians. Bottom line, Pastor Adam says his mission here is aligning the church with anyone who wants to do good by helping others, whether that person's considered a sinner or a saint. In Milwaukee, Catherine Cook, KGW News.